let us talk about sternum in this lecture. Okay, everyone. So basically, we are talking about axilla skeleton, right? And here, uh, after discussing all the vertebrae, right, and the complete vertebral column, let us talk about sternum. Sternum, it is also called as breast bone. It is also called as breast bone. It is a flat bone and of course it provides the articulation for the ribs, few ribs basically and for the muscles of course, many muscles basically. So ribs, it is a breast bone. It is present on the ventral side of the body. So it is present on ventral side of the body. So that is a location. If I talk about the length, basically, so it is around around 15 to 17 centimeter long. So if I talk about its length, so it is around 15 to 17 centimeter long. Right? This is also called as breastbone. We have discussed about it. Okay. This is sternum. It is absent in some of the reptiles. And what are the reptiles in which it is absent? So, such as the snakes and you know turtles. Okay, so it is absent in some of the reptiles such as a snake and turtle. So let me write it that it is absent in some reptiles such as in turtle and in snakes. So when we talk about sternum, so it has certain parts. Let us talk about these parts first of all. Okay. Uh, I have an image on that side, so but I have written over there, no problem. Let us see about the different different parts, uh, what is there in the sternum. Let us talk about first of all that. So we can divide the sternum into three parts. So we can divide a sternum into the three parts. So what are these three parts? The three parts is, the first is called as prosternum. Prosternum. Prosternum it is also called as manubrium. And the second it is called as Mesosternum. The second one it is called as mesosternum, and the third one it is called as metasternum. Let us try and see uh, the diagram, and then we'll see uh, with the help of diagram where are these parts, and you can take the screenshot now. Let us now talk about the diagram. So this is here. The diagram is okay. So because I have written here, let me erase that first of all, and then uh, we'll see the diagram. Let us continue with the diagram. Now, we can see that this is the sternum. Okay, this is how it looks like. You can see the depressions, but we are not supposed to discuss all these things. Although it has, you know, this is the upper layer, then it is the upper wall, it is the lower wall. Basically, these are the two lateral walls. This is a basically what we call as prosternum. So, this is what you can see it is prosternum. Let me change the color. It is prosternum, right? It also provides the articulation site. I will let you know that what are the articulation site. Okay, it provides. Then this is the largest part basically and it is the body. Okay, this is called body and this is also called as mesosternum. Mesosternum. And it is the last part of the sternum that is called metasternum. You can see here. There are some of the other names that are also assigned to these structures. So, prosternum, it is also called as basically manubrium. So, it is also called as manubrium. This prosternum, right? I am talking about this structure directly. Yes, you know, this is the body or mesosternum, okay? And basically, the metasternum, it is also called as xiphysternum. It is also called as xiphy sternum. Why? Because it is made up of xiphoid cartilage. So it is also called as xiphy sternum. Right? So it is xiphy sternum. Let me write it here. Xiphy sternum. And why xiphy sternum? Because it is made up of xiphoid cartilage. Right? Here xiphoid cartilage is present. This is a cartilage in a structure, basically. So now that is a three part of the sternum we have discussed. So let me write for all these things that we have raised that it is 15 to centimeter long, right? It is absent in some of the reptiles. It is absent in some reptiles only. 
it includes such as you know snakes and uh, let's say turtle okay so we discuss that it is present ventrally now on this sternum ribs are attached of course muscles are uh, also attached to the sternum right so we can see that there are some facet these are the facet they are there for the articulation of the ribs so the first seven ribs you know we have the 12 pair of the ribs we know that we'll talk about when we talk about the rib and rib cage in the next video so we are having the ribs so the seven rib the first seven rib they are attached to this sternum let us see how but before that uh, try and see this animation in this animation what you can see you can see this is a sternum that is a breast bone so clavicle also attached here if you want if you observe it very carefully so look at here the clavicle also uh, you know this clavicle that is called a scholar bone that is also attached to this sternum right also you can see that the bones anterior uh, ribs basically anteriorly the seven ribs or rather the sum of the ribs so they are anteriorly attached to the sternum and posteriorly you can say that they are attached to the vertebral column through thoracic vertebra so we are having actually normal 12 pair of the ribs and we are having 12 thoracic vertebra also so i'll let you know the connection also okay and we have studied that in uh, thoracic vertebrae when we discuss the thoracic vertebrae i told you that on these thoracic vertebrae ribs are attached right so we have discussed the okay now you can see uh, this part which is now you know basically the colored part this is actually cartilaginous part of the sternum you can say so it is a cartilaginous part of the sternum right so the very interior part let me change the color the very interior part of the sternum it is made up of cartilage so you can see here exactly that the first rib second rib you know and you can uh, also wait so the first rib second rib third rib fourth fifth sixth and seventh seven ribs are directly attached to the sternum you can see that these ribs are posteriorly attached to the vertebral column so you can see that these are 12 thoracic vertebrae if you want count one you know let's say this is one two three four and similarly so till that there are 12 thoracic vertebrae so anteriorly these ribs are attached to the sternum and posteriorly these are attached to the thoracic vertebra okay so let us now talk about few more things that let us try and see that where these articulations are so in this diagram you can see both the view of uh, side view that means lateral view as well as the ventral view of the sternum now as we discussed that it is called manubrium so this part is manubrium it is also called as yes everyone it is also called as prosternum then we can see the body body it is also called as mesosternum we have discussed then we see xiphoid sternum so this is xiphoid cartilage basically so here it is xiphoid cartilage that is why everyone it is called as xiphoid sternum xiphoid sternum also or this is actually you know basically prosternum mesosternum and this is metasternum this is metasternum now you can see that can you see this notch so at this notch basically the clavicle bone actually attached so this is a collar bone if you can recall so this is a collar bone we have also discussed it under when we were discussing about the appendicular skeleton so we said that in appendicular skeleton there are uh, girdles so in the pectoral girdle i told you that we are having this collar bone right so this collar bone you can even feel this right okay so this is attached here and this is a broad part you can see there are some depressions of course we are supposed to study them this is called as uh, what we call as prosternum and it provides the articulation for the rib so it is a first coastal notch and then there is a second third fourth fifth sixth and seventh so seventh vertebrae are attached here like that one two three you know four five and this is the of course first one so six and then it is the seventh one so this is how the seven vertebrae are attached you can see also here this is the clavicular note so clavicle bone attached there this is the first notch for the uh, first rib then it is for the second rib then it is for the third rib then it is for the fourth rib let's say you know i'm just saying fifth sixth and seven uh, basically uh, fourth fifth sixth and this is the basically here it is a seventh okay and it is a xiphoid cartilage this is called uh, metasternum so that is what we have studied about the sternum that it is a flat bone and uh, what it helps it 
so it helps in the articulation of the ribs on the front side now in the next video let us talk about ribs and the rib cage we will understand the rib structure also so this is will take in the next class thank you